proper vector eraser tool is still missing in Affinity Designer version 2.5. So let me show you a workaround. If you want to manually erase part of the vector shape, you can create another shape and use that as the erasing part. So let's grab a pencil tool here. Now we can decide how thick the pencil will be by adjusting the stroke size. The color really doesn't matter. So you can pick any flashy color so you can easily see your eraser. And then we start erasing by drawing like that. Okay, so we are drawing a eraser like shape. So we got the full control like with the eraser, but at the end we end up with with this. We can still adjust the size of it though, so that's nice. But it's not a eraser, it's just additional line. So what we need to do next is we need to turn this line into a shape itself. So let's expand this line into a shape. Head to layer and then expand stroke. Now we got two shapes and you may guess already I'm going to select both of them and simply use subtract here at the top. So top shape will be subtracted from the bottom shape. And here it is, we managed to use a pencil tool as the eraser, we erase this hole here in that vector shape. All right, again, pencil tool, adjust the size, color doesn't matter, and then you do your erasing, all right? Before you can subtract, you must turn this line into a shape, so head to layer, Expand stroke. Be sure you selected both objects. You can hold shift and simply click on another object. Both layers selected. I, I can see the blue highlight in the layer panel. Both layers selected. And now I click subtract here at the top. And we use that pencil drawing to subtract this area. All right, so that's one of the workarounds for missing eraser tool. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.